Hello and welcome to another edition of Tom's Toolbox. That makes me Tom Clark, your host. And today I'm going to show you how to wire a low voltage brushless DC Integra gear motor from Bodine. Yes, they have actually entrusted me <laughs> with <laughs> power. I don't know why. Now these products combine a brushless DC motor, a gear reducer, and a low voltage speed control in one complete package. You see everything on the table right here. We're good to go. It's pretty simple to wire one of these gear motors. but. Before we do anything like that, you got to put on the appropriate PPE because safety is always priority number one. Whatever the job calls for. Now these gear motors come with either a 12 volt DC or a 24 volt DC input. And the one we're wiring today has a 24 volt DC input. So on the table in front of us, we got the 34B4 SRWX Integra motor. Say that three times real fast. And a 24 volt DC regulated power supply. And all we need to do to get the gear motor running, we're going to connect two wires. First, we open the control cover by removing the four screws. Now, we did that through the miracle of TV magic. We've already done that. So that's our top off right here, revealing all the guts. Next, we're going to feed the positive and negative power leads through the conduit hole into the control enclosure, which is right through here. So I got my positive and negative. Now, I know where they are on the board. You can see me. There's our negative and there's our positive and uh, we're good to go. Now we connect the AC power to the regulated 24 volt DC power supply and we'll turn the built-in speed pot to set the desired output speed. It's really that simple. Now we've already done that. There's our supply right there and bam, then we're good to go. So that's our power supply. So we're in good shape. Now this blue IO box allows us to demonstrate some of the remote operation features of these Integra gear motors. Now the enable feature allows us to turn off the gear motor without the need for cutting power to the control. You got forward, brake, reverse, another feature that can be wired remotely or with a switch near the gear motor. Now to prevent gear damage, the gear motor should always come to a complete stop before reversing direction of rotation. It's like a car. I mean, if you're doing 30 down the highway, you don't throw it into reverse. You stop, then you throw it into reverse. Same application right here. The gear motor output speed can be controlled with the built-in speed pot, a remote speed pot, or a remote analog 0 to 5 VDC speed signal. The speed readout on our demo box, which you're going to see in just a second, is configured to translate the 12 pulse per revolution output signal from the gear motor's built-in hall sensors to display the actual drive shaft speed, and that's what you're going to see. Now, these gear motors are ideal as a standalone system, but also excel in applications in remote settings that operate off-grid from battery or solar power. Yes, Solar power. I like that. That's awesome. They also work great in industrial and medical applications where safety considerations demand low voltage electronics. We're going to do our last little connection here before we actually turn it on. We want to make sure, and as you notice, I did all of this without plugging in. You want to make sure you do all your wiring first before we take care of that. Plug it in, and as you can see, we've got ourselves a nice green light going. That means we're in good shape. I'll come over here to our box. Turn it on. I got another green light, and you're going to see it right there. Once I turn it on, bam, and there goes our motor right there, and everything's good to go. If you do it right, it's always going to work right, huh? That about does it for this edition of Tom's Toolbox. Uh, you can be sure to check out those and other videos on mihowto.com with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks so much for watching, and can't you just smell that chicken cooking?